Now the first search in the informed search category is best first search. Now what is the meaning of best first search? Best first search is an intense uh, instance of the general tree search or the graph search algorithm in which a node is selected for expansion based on evolution function. So we have seen the uh, tree search algorithm or the graph search algorithm, right? So where we have uh, two algorithm, which is there. One is the tree search algorithm and we have the graph search algorithm. So it will use that particular algorithm. Which one? Breadth first search algorithm. It will use any of these algorithm. Generally, it will use breadth first search algorithm, uh, sorry, graph search algorithm. But the thing is that in that to select which particular node has to be expand next, it is based on the evolution function. This evolution function is denoted as Fn. Fn. The evolution function is, con is constructed as a cost estimate. So the node with the lowest evolution is expected next. So here, this evolution function will provide you the cost. And that cost will tell that from that particular node to the destination, what should be the cost. And based on that cost, we'll decide which particular node has to be explored next. The implementation of best first graph search is identical to that of uniform cost search. So at last, yesterday, we have seen uniform cost search, right? So in the uniform cost search, we'll take those nodes, which is taking, uh, which is uh, having the uh, least cost. Okay, so based on that, we'll decide that which particular node has to be expand next. So the same we'll decide here, but here we doesn't have the path cost. We have the evolution function, which will give you the estimated cost to reach the destination. Expect for the use of F instead of G to order the priority queue. So here in the uniform cost search, we have used G. G is the path cost. But here if we'll, we'll use F, F is the evolution function, which will give you the cost. The choice of has determined the search strategy. Most bet, best first search include as a component of heuristic function denoted as HN. HN is estimated cost of the cheapest pass from the state at node N to any uh, to any node N to the goal node. For, from any node to the goal node, which I told you earlier, is denoted as HN is the cost heuristic function. And that is uh, in the form of heuristic function, uh, sorry, evolution function will get. Notice that HN take a node as input, but unlike GN, it uh, depend only on the state at a node. So here it is taking the node and here it is taking the state of the node means at a particular state, at what path we have taken, it is calculating the path cost, which is from the starting state to reaching that particular state. Okay, what is the cost that is denoted by that. But this HN is nothing but a value which is written on the node. So there is some value which is there in the node. So th let's say the value is X, let's say the value is Y, let's say the value is Z. So these value are denoted as the, the cost that is taken from that particular point to the destination or the goal node, okay? So here we'll use the evolution function to decide which particular node has to be explored next. Now we'll see some of the diagram, uh, some of the examples. So this is uh, the, the, the problem that we have to solve using best first strategy. So let's see first problem. Uh, let's say this is A, A is my initial node. Let's say A is my initial node. And let's assume say that G is my goal node. So from A, we, we need to go to G. Okay. From A, we need to go to G. And the value that is written is not the cost. This is not the cost. This is the heuristic value. This is the heuristic value. And it is denoting that, that from A, if we use these path, if you'll use these path, then it will take 100 cost. 
from A, if we'll take this path, we may get 20 cost. From A, if we'll take this path, we may get 20, 50 cost. So, so it is denoting the cost, the heuristic value, the cost that is required to reach the goal node. Okay. So with the help of these heuristic value, we'll decide that how we can reach the goal node. So let's solve the this particular uh, this particular problem with the help of best first search. Okay. So as the previous example, we have two data structure. One is called Frontier, another is called Explore. So it is already also here. We have the Frontier and we have the Explore. So that Frontier will be ordered based on the heuristic value and expanded will be the node which has already been expanded. So initially at Frontier, we have A, we have node A. This node A, because this is only one node, so we have to explore it and we have to put in the explore list. Before that, we'll compare with the goal node. It's not a goal node, then we'll put in the explore list. Now A has to be explored. So where it A can go? A can go to S, C and B. So A can go to S, C and B, right? But what is the heuristic that they are having? So heuristic that they have is, here we have 50, here we have 20, and here we have 100. So definitely, if these are the child, so if we'll arrange it, so it will be C first, then S and then B, because the cost, the heuristic is 20, 50 and 100, right? So which we'll explore, so definitely C has to be explored next. So now C has to be explored next. C will be compared with a goal node. It is not a goal node. So C will be in an explored list. Now C has to be explored. Now from C, where we can go? From C, we can go to D, we can go to E, or we can go to S, right? If we are going S, it is again 50, and it is already 50, so it is not going to change, but I am just exploring it. This is S, I can go to D, or I can go to E. Now, what is the heuristic value here? The heuristic value is 50. The heuristic value is 60. And the heuristic value is 100. Now, which we have to explore because what is there in the heuristic here is we have S already, right? Uh, B is there which with 100. Uh, we may have D with 60, we may have E with 100. So as you can see, if we'll rearrange it, if we'll rearrange it, it will be uh, like this. So D will come first, 50, and then D because the cost is 60, and then B because the cost is 100. And here it is 100. Now it is sorted. Now the next one that has to be taken is S. Now S will be compared with the goal node. It is not a goal node. Then S will be explored. Now which one X, uh, which S will be explored? Right, this one. So this has to be explored. Uh, S from S we can go to A or we can go to C because both are in the explore list. We are not going to go anywhere. Right, so it is a dead end. 
you can see. Now, uh, next is the D. We'll take D. D will be compared with a goal node. It is a goal node. No, it is not a goal node. So we'll put in the explore list. Now D has to be explored. From D, we can go to B, we can go to F, or we can go to G. From D, we can go to B. From D, we can go to F. From D, we can go to E. Now, what is the cost here? Uh, sorry, heuristic value here. So it is 10, it's 10, F is 5, E is 10. Now B is already there, E is already there, but 100, 100. So we can make it 10, 10, and F is 5, right? So we can make it F. So first will be the F, next will be B, next will be E. So I'll just rearrange my frontier value. F, B, and E. The cost I am putting here is 5, it is 10, it is 10, which has to be explored next. So F has to be explored next. Now F will be compared with a goal node. It is not a goal node. So F is coming here. Now F has to be explored. From F, where we can go? We can go to D, it has already been explored. We can go to G. We can go to G and the uh, heuristic value is 20. Heuristic value is 20. So we can go to, we can put it here G, it is 20, right? Uh, here, what will happen is uh, we can, when we reach the goal node and we put into the frontier, we find out like this is the solution sometime. And sometime we just have to explore some other path to reach the goal node. Okay. So if we are using this particular way, which uniform cast search is using, so for that, we need to explore B also. So when we need to explore B, this B, uh, we can find it out uh, D, which is already there. So D doesn't have to explore again. So B has to be explored. E, if you want to explore E, D is already there in the uh, explored list. C is also there in the explored list. And G will come and G will be updated. The value will be updated as 10. Because here it is taking 10. So this will be updated as 10. E will be remote. And G, and G is a goal node, right? So G is a goal node. So we find out the goal. So your graph will be like that. Only one changes will be here. So what is the path? The path will be from A to C, from C to D, D to F, and F to G. This is my path to reach the goal. And this is done by the heuristic values that we are having. So as I told you, we doesn't have to calculate the path cost. Instead, we'll take the heuristic value to reach the goal. So this path may not be the optimal path. Okay? This main path may not be the optimal path, but we are reaching the goal. This is best first search. Let's see one more algorithm. Here, uh, this value 13, 12, 4, 7, 3, 8, 2, 4, 9, 0 are the heuristic evolution function. Uh, this particular value is denoting that from S to go to the goal node G, how much is the cost from A to reach 12? What is the cost in that way? So this is the cost that has already been given. And this is the graph and we have to reach the goal node. So how we can go there, get, go there. So we'll apply the same, which we have applied in the previous 
example, we'll use the frontier list and we'll use the explore list. In the frontier list, we'll arrange those nodes based on their heuristic value. In the explore list, we'll put those nodes which is already been explored. So we'll start with S, S is the node. So frontier will put it S. Now S will be removed from the frontier and compared with the goal node. Sorry. Is not a goal node, then S will be in the explore list and will explore two nodes, A and B. Now we got A and B. A is having 12 heuristic and B is having four heuristic. So which one will take next? Definitely B because it is having four heuristic and, 12, and A is having 12. So is having four, it is having 12 heuristic. So definitely we'll go for B. Now B will be explored is not equal to G, then B will be explored. And from B, we can go to E and F, E and F. Now, if we'll go, if we'll add E and F, so for E, it is eight, and for F, it is two, eight and two. So definitely, what are the uh, frontier node we have right now? So we have the updated list like this. We have F having two heuristic, E hearing, having eight heuristic, and A having 12 heuristic. So we have three E, F, E, A. F, E, A. Which node has to be explored next? Definitely F because it is having least heuristic value. So F will be explored next having it is it is goal node no it is not a goal node then we'll put in the, the front uh, explore list and f has to be explored so if we'll explore f we'll get i and g g is having heuristic value as zero and i is having heuristic value as nine so we can put uh, g and we can put i G is having heuristic value zero, I is having heuristic value nine. Now we have to rearrange this. So if we'll rearrange, what will be there? G will be first, then E, then I, and then A. What is it? First is G with zero heuristic, then uh, E with eight heuristic, then I with nine heuristic value, and then A with 12 heuristic value. This is how we'll arrange. Now the next has to be explored is G. G is equal to G. Yes, it is equal to G. Then this is my solution. So how we'll reach G from S, from S I can go to B, from B I can go to F, from F I can go to G. This is my path. S to B, B to F, and F to G. Right. So this is how I can reach the goal with best first search. So best first search is based on the evolution function. 